this evening to unveil the pillars of the Beyond the Return program, a successor program to the year of return, whose benefits and contributions towards the development of the tourism and cultural industry thus far cannot be overemphasized. Before I continue, let me acknowledge the efforts the Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, the Ghana Tourism Authority, and all their collaborators are making to implement this flagship program of this government. Ladies and gentlemen, one cannot speak of beyond the return without mentioning the year of return in 2019, which was a major landmark campaign targeting the historical African community outside our continent. The Tourism Initiative invited black people from across the diaspora to return to the African continent in 2019 to mark the 400 years since slave ship leaving West Africa coast had carried their ancestors to the Americas and other parts of the world. By this, Ghana became the beacon for African people living on the continent and the diaspora. The Ghana Tourism Authority, under the auspices of the Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, led the project in collaboration with the Office of the Diaspora Affairs at the Office of the President, the Panafest Foundation, and the Edinburgh Group of the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished members of the press, towards the follow-up project, the Minister of Tourism, Arts, and Culture has inaugurated a 17-member steering committee co-chaired by Mr. Akwesi Ewia Abebio, Director of the Diaspora Affairs, Office of the President, and Mr. Kwame Boateng, board member of the Ghana Tourism Authority, a 10-year plan to build on the momentum of the year of return under the theme, A Decade of Renaissance 2020 to 2030, has been rolled out to encourage investment to help improve the heritage infrastructure of the country, among others. Over the next decade, the project seeks to consolidate the gains of the year of return and grow tourism in the country, showcase its investment potentials, and solidify its diaspora engagement program to promote the African Renaissance under the following seven pillars. Pillar one. Experience Ghana. The core of this pillar is the invitation to the global African family to visit and experience Ghana, creating memorable experiences through Sankofa and healing journeys, cultural events, festivals, entertainment, nightlife, culinary experience, and December in Ghana, which are all key to establishing long-term connections with the Ghanaian and the African diaspora. Pillar two, invest in Ghana. This pillar will create special investment programs and ease of doing business for the diaspora. Key activities will be the diaspora investment programs, Sankofa savings accounts, and the diaspora housing scheme. Pillar three, diaspora pathways to Ghana. This pillar will see to the adoption of legal and policy framework on visa acquisition, that is e-visa, and the institution of a diaspora visa. It will facilitate key diaspora pathway programs, 
such as citizenship programs, educational and work exchanges, residence and work permits. Pillar four, celebrate Ghana. This will create a sense of national consciousness anchored on key cultural festivals, media programs, adoption of contemporary festivals into the national calendar, and promotion of domestic tourism. Pillar five, brand Ghana. This pillar seeks to promote Ghana as a leading tourism destination and a hub for the African Renaissance. It will craft a new narrative on Ghana and strategically promote Ghana to the world. Pillar six, give back to Ghana. This pillar will foster a new sense of community service and giving that will create ongoing legacies for the project. Service areas will include tree planting, community cleanups, and adoption of certain community impact projects. Pillar seven and the last of the pillars, promote Pan-African heritage and innovation. This pillar will focus on promoting Pan-African and Ghanaian heritage and developing pilgrimage infrastructure around sites of memory. Development of tourism infrastructure for target sites will be extended beyond the highly frequented sites of Cape Coast and Delmina dungeons, such as areas as the Salaga slave market in the northern region, Pikworo slave camp in the Upper East region, Asim Manso, where the slaves had the last bath and the first auction and branding took place in the central region. The slaves, after the branding at Asim Manso, head towards various castles at Elmina, Cape Coast, among others, all of which are essential parts of the history of slavery in Ghana. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, we must help make Ghana the place for investment, progress, and prosperity, and not a place from where our youth flee in the hope of assessing the proverbial pasture for a better life in Europe or the Americas. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and members of the press again, may I make a clarion call to the steering committee, stakeholders, and all Ghanaians that consolidating the gains after the year of return is not just enough. The plans and programs you must put in place for beyond the return agenda must seek not to just attract tourists into the country. Rather, it must be geared towards attracting the best pool of talent from people in the diaspora with African descent to return and contribute their skills, knowledge, and wealth to the development of Africa, especially Ghana, within these seven pillars which we have already outlined. The Beyond the Return Agenda must focus on brain gain, albeit the push and pull factors that have been attributed to brain drain in our continent must be consciously addressed by initiatives such as this. It is worthy of note that Africans in the diaspora are compromised of professionals who possess the right skills mix constructive to economic development of Africa and are keen to make contributions to the continent. Fields of research and development, commerce, technology, all types of industrial pathway to make our continent great again. I believe that this should be a central theme 
for all programs and activities that will be designed for this agenda.